morning again from Mission Control Houston and welcome to our berthing and insulation coverage of the uh, Dragon SpaceX CRS-6 mission. As we come to you live, the robotics officer here in Mission Control Houston getting the Dragon into final position for berthing. The robotic arm back in motion right now as Dragon is poised to be attached to the earth facing side of the Harmony module. Again, the robotics controllers here in Houston controlling the uh, space station's robotic arm, Canada Arm 2. Originally uh, scheduled to get this uh, spacecraft installed around the 8.40 a.m. Central Time, but uh, working very quickly and running about 30 minutes ahead of schedule. Uh, we are expecting uh, that the berthing should come within the next uh, 10 to 20 minutes from now. Uh, and with it, uh, Dragon will be attached uh, to the, again, the Earth-facing side of Harmony. Uh, Dragon loaded with over 4,300 pounds of equipment and supplies for the Expedition 43 crew, including uh, several hundred pounds of uh, experiment hardware. A uh, number of experiments going to be taking place uh, over the next five weeks as Dragon is attached and then making the trip back down. Uh, but everything with this vehicle going flawlessly from launch and just a little over two and a half days ago through a uh, very successful berthing a little bit or grapple rather a little bit earlier this morning uh, dragon attached to uh, the space station's robotic arm for almost two hours now since that grapple and being uh, lined up for the berthing here a quick replay from earlier this morning uh, this a view from the space, space station's robotic arm, which was controlled by uh, Expedition 43 flight engineer Samantha Chris Ferretti, uh, who was assisted by Commander Terry Verts throughout the operation. That capture came uh, successfully at 5.55 a.m. Central Time, 6.55 a.m. Eastern this morning, uh, while both the station and the Dragon spacecraft were flying over the northern Pacific Ocean. Uh, again, this coming uh, after Dragon launched uh, aboard a Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral just a little over two and a half days ago, back on Tuesday. Uh, a flawless launch, flawless ascent, and then a flawless final approach for the Dragon spacecraft. Everything uh, going by the book uh, for this unmanned cargo craft. And uh, once that berthing, or that grapple rather, sorry, was done successfully, uh, control of the space station's robotic arm was handed off from the crew down to our team here in Mission Control Houston, where robotics officers uh, have since maneuvered uh, the spacecraft into its uh, docking attitude, lining it up uh, with that Earth-facing port on Harmony. Again, that berthing coming uh, successful, uh, grapple coming successfully at 5:55 a.m. Central Time earlier this morning. So we are expecting uh, the docking uh, to come within the next uh, 10 minutes or so uh, to the Harmony module. Uh, SpaceX inching closer and closer. This is a view from uh, the centerline berthing camera, which was installed by Commander Terry Verts yesterday uh, in that Earth-facing port uh, of Harmony. It's going to be used by the uh, robotics flight controller here in Houston to Make sure everything's lined up perfectly as uh, Dragon inches its way towards its home for the next five weeks. And again, continuing to close in uh, very slowly, the robotics controller here in Houston methodically closing the gap between Dragon and the berthing port on the Harmony module. This again is SpaceX's sixth resupply mission to the International Space Station. 
The capsule packed with uh, more than 4,300 pounds of supplies and payloads, uh, among them uh, critical supplies to uh, support dozens of experiments uh, that are going to occur over the course of Expedition 43 and 44. Dragon's going to remain docked uh, to the Harmony module for about five weeks, uh, scheduled to come home on May 21st right now. Uh, it's going to be returning uh, a little bit more than 3,000 pounds of cargo, uh, including some of the science experiments that it's brought up and uh, other science samples and other experiment hardware, and then also uh, any crew supplies, uh, various other uh, miscellaneous items that are going to be making the trip back home and splashing down in the Pacific uh, inside the Dragon spacecraft. For now though, we are standing by as the uh, robotics controller here in Houston continues to fine-tune this movement in. So continuing to stand by, Dragon closing in on that berthing port again. The uh, robotics controller here in Houston getting the vehicle well ahead of schedule. The Orbit 2 team at this point now on console just uh, took over from the Orbit 1 team uh, during the 7 o'clock hour central time here in Houston. Now leading the team, uh, Flight Director Judd Freeling. Uh, there in the blue shirt, now at the Capcom position, Christy Bertel is going to be talking to the crew on board, uh, whose uh, job done for the day capturing the vehicle. Uh, they'll be required to uh, outfit uh, the vestibule, basically the uh, interface between uh, the space station uh, and the hatchway into the Dragon vehicle. Uh, the crew scheduled to uh, get the hatch open and begin uh, some of the initial unloading tomorrow. Um, and then actually uh, on Sunday we'll have a, a pretty packed day of unloading uh, supplies from this vehicle. It's a, a lot of the uh, science cargo on board, very time sensitive and on a uh, tight timeline to make sure everything can get completed and turned around in time for SpaceX's return on just five weeks from uh, today. And you can see some light just beginning to peak over the horizon. Sunrise should be coming uh, in the next minute or two. And we'll have a quick handover uh, with our video comm with the International Space Station. Should get it back in a minute or two. In the meantime, uh, Dragon still uh, getting lined up very close now. I should be seeing that uh, docking within the next 10 minutes or so. 
The robotics controllers getting well ahead of their schedule originally targeting around 8.40 a.m. Central this morning, but uh, working through not getting any issues uh, with uh, either the spacecraft or the robotic arms, so well ahead of their timeline. And again, should be uh, hopefully getting that uh, berthing in about 10 minutes or so. So we'll continue to stand by. I think it should get that video back in just a moment or two. So video reacquired, the KU signal which uh, supplies that video direct from the International Space Station locked back up. And uh, the SpaceX Dragon and the Space Station now uh, in a sunrise here again, a look from the centerline berthing camera uh, in the uh, Earth-facing port of Harmony, uh, Node 2 where Dragon's about to be attached. This an up close look uh, at the Dragon Hatch, uh, very close now to its uh, docking port.
And from this view, you can see just how close Dragon is. Standing by uh, the robotics officer still working. Again, we should be getting uh, confirmation of that uh, docking of sp the uh, SpaceX Dragon vehicle in the next 10 minutes or so, hopefully. The team down here on the ground working very efficiently, well ahead of their timeline. Director and the team, the heads up, getting ready to start their final maneuvers.
So we're continuing to stand by. Again, Dragon very close to being attached to the International Space Station. The robotics uh, officers putting the final touches on their maneuvers with the uh, Canada Arm 2 robotic arm to attach Dragon. We'll wait until we uh, get a confirmation of second stage capture. And after that, it'll be bolted in place for its five-week stay on to the International Space Station, delivering 4,300 pounds of cargo to the Expedition 43 crew. And you can tell from this uh, view on the center line berthing camera right in that hatchway on the earth facing side of Harmony, Dragon very close, uh, just about attached. And this is Mission Control Houston continuing to stand by Dragon right now, literally inches away from that docking port uh, on the Earth facing side of Harmony. A slow and methodical operation by the team down here on the ground to get this installed, but still well, ahe well ahead of the timeline today. We weren't even supposed to start the final approach operation so until about 8.40 a.m. Central, so still running quite a bit ahead. And just now getting the call from the robo officer here in Mission Control. They are go for first stage capture.
And so again, as you can see, uh, the SpaceX Dragon all but attached to the Earth-facing side of Harmony, uh, expecting the uh, first stage uh, capture to occur uh, in the next couple of minutes. The robotics officer here uh, confirming they are uh, go for the final stages of this operation this morning to get Dragon attached to the International Space Station. So again, the birthing gonna, of Dragon going to come in two stages. First stage will be uh, that, that soft dock, and then uh, the second stage will put the bolts in place. And at that point, Dragon will be attached firmly to the International Space Station. That should just be coming up real shortly.
So right now, uh, first stage capture has occurred, standing by for second stage capture, which will firmly attach Dragon, and that's what we'll consider our official uh, dock time. So again, at this point, standing by for second stage capture. Uh, at this point, uh, Expedition 43 Commander uh, Terry Verts uh, at work inside of Harmony on the common berthing mechanism. A series of uh, latches and then uh, 16 bolts are going to be engaged to firmly affix Dragon to the International Space Station. And that in work right now. And Houston, I'm picking up in 5.3.2. These ground steps, I'm not sure if I need to call you in between or should I just assume that they're done? Terry, we don't need the calls in between. Once you see the confirmation request, that means we've uplinked the command and you're go to proceed. Okay.
Yep. And getting confirmation second stage capture complete. And we'll put that at 8.29 a.m. Central Time, 9.29 a.m. Eastern. While well, the station and Dragon were flying just about 250 statute miles just off the coast of Sierra Leone. So again, Dragon Stage 2 capture complete. Attached now to the International Space Station, the 6th uh, SpaceX resupply mission delivering over 4,300 pounds of supplies to the crew on board the International Space Station. Terry, that's not required in your go to proceed with Step 6. So at this point, the crew is going to have a couple of hours uh, a little bit later this afternoon where they're going to be outfitting the vestibule, basically the interface between the station and the Dragon hatch. They are scheduled to open the hatches up uh, early tomorrow morning and uh, begin uh, just a little bit of cargo transfer work. Uh, they're actually going to have a uh, pretty packed Sunday, though, for a couple of these crew members is uh, a lot of the science, uh, very time sensitive, that's been delivered on Dragon. So they'll need to start offloading and uh, conducting a few of those experiments uh, immediately to make sure they can hit the timeline uh, to get everything loaded back on just five weeks from now when Dragon's scheduled to uh, detach uh, and depart the International Space Station on May 21st. So with that, a very successful day in a new spacecraft attached to the International Space Station. Uh, before we wrap up, one quick programming note for you. Uh, Space Station Live will move 30 minutes from its regular time to 10.30 a.m. Central Time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. And we'll, of course, have a, a highlight of all of the activities today, including that successful grapple occurring earlier this morning and that successful uh, birthing and attachment to the International Space Station coming again at 8.29 a.m. Central Time this morning. So with that, we will go ahead and wrap up our coverage of uh, Dragon's trip up to the International Space Station today. Thank you for joining us this morning for all these successful activities, and be sure to tune in to Space Station Live a little bit earlier this morning, uh, or later this morning. For now, though, we will go ahead and sign off. This is Mission Control Houston.